Welcome to the workout of the day. I'm gonna show the move, you can start jogging. I'm gonna use Orko, my dummy here. All right, so we're starting uh, this week from this position. Sometimes we're holding just the head and the arm, but today I'm gonna to be holding under the far shoulder like so, okay? I'm gonna assume that the person, I get into the space under their arm, possibly by bugging their chin and they block my bicep, right? But one way or the other, I'm gonna catch their arm against my chest right here and step over their head. I'm trying to get my heel to the ground on the far side of their head. Now, the move we did the other day was to just catch an arm bar from here, and that's definitely something you can do. But one thing that's gonna be a normal reaction is people putting their hands together. As soon as this hand comes up to their hand or to my foot, sometimes people try to take this off. Anytime you see the L in the arm, you're gonna come under the arm, catch the wrist, connect your hands, and you don't have to go anywhere to finish an Americano right here. So again, I'll chop this against my chest, I see this arm in an L at all, reaching for the arm or my leg. I'm going to catch it and catch the Americana right here. Let's jump into our workout for now. Let's do belly down T's. We've been doing these lately. Arms come up. Oh yeah. I can even feel that we've been doing it lately. A little bit sore back there. Okay. So picking these up. You can also turn your hands over. Slightly different muscle group. Okay, just for 30 seconds here, which is just ending now. And now we're just going to squat and jump. Squat and jump, okay? Doesn't sound like much until you do it for 30 seconds, a couple times in a couple minutes. But let's do this for another 18 seconds, right? Okay, squat, keep your back straight. Look straight ahead. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds. Okay, and back to T's. All right, arms out to your side, up and back. You should be retracting your shoulder blades. Put them together. Turn your hands over for the other angle here. Shoulder blades together, remember. That's the move. Okay, another little bit of squat and jump. Some of you may be able to squat a little more deeply than I can because of just a knee situation on my end. But get those nice deep squats and a jump. Okay. Now, let's practice our move a little bit. Your feet are in an airwalk position here, just apart. I'm under the far arm, holding the shoulder. I can touch their chin if they block my bicep. I'm gonna keep their hand, my thumb to my chest, traps their hand. So, that's step one. Step two, your step over the head. For that, you may need to lean away a little bit, okay? I know I do. You know, this is very hard. So we're gonna do this. As soon as you see the L in the arm, Catch it, and we're gonna push the wrist and pull the tricep a little bit. I wanna get his arm not in front of him, but next to him. So I boop, catch it here, then connect and finish. You don't even have to change your position at all to finish that. So, touch the chin, catch the arm, hips off the ground, step over the head. Now, whether they reach for this leg or they reach for their other hand, you might see an L shape. Push the wrist and pull the tricep and then connect and finish. Okay, next round, side push-ups. Okay, let's start on my right side. My ground side arm, hug my body, other hand to the floor, and just push yourself up. Okay, all the way straight, that arm, just for another 10 seconds. It is my, because I'm laying on my right side, my left arm's doing all the work. We're gonna do something else for 30 seconds, and then next time I'll push up with my right arm on the other side. Now, we're going to squat and throw a knee. We're gonna squat and throw a knee. You can pretend you're holding a head of your least favorite person, right? And then throw a knee. That knee should be, come all the way up to your chest, right? For this exercise's purpose. Nice high knee. Okay, 
And now I'm gonna lay on my left side. So my left arm hugs my body, the one on the bottom. The other one, top arm pushes me up. That's it. We have about 15 more seconds of doing this. Just make sure your arm gets all the way straight. Five more seconds. Okay, and back to squat and throw a knee. Squat, throw a knee. Squat. Squat. Two more. One, two. Okay, let's practice our move again. Wide feet, across the body and under their armpit for our armpit. Now, touch the chin, they'll probably block your bicep, catch their arm, so thumb to your chest. Catch, now, hips come off the ground. I have to lean away to bring this over. I have to lean away, so that comes over. And now, when I see an L in the arm, catch the arm, connect my hands, finish. Right from there. Touch the chin, catch the hand, step over. Now, if they go to clear my leg off their head, that's also an L shape. You can catch their arms right here and finish that Americana right here. Touch the chin, catch the hand, step over, Americana. So I'm gonna hit the wrist forward, hit the tricep backwards so that their arm goes, Ugh. that's not the submission, this is here. But you want them in that weakened position. So touch, catch, step, wrap that Americana. Okay, we're doing bridges left and right for one minute. Bridging, for good bridging, if you remember, your feet should be as close to your butt, underneath your butt, even as possible. So keep going, my feet correct, reaching over. I should come all the way onto the tip of my shoulder. Looking where I'm pointing, touching where I'm pointing, opposite side. Oop. Keep going, we got another good 20 seconds or so. Ten more seconds. Don't get lazy with your hips, high hips. Nice, good bridges. Four, three, two, one. And let's go back to our position. I'm holding the shoulder underneath the far armpit. Touch the chin. They block my bicep like they push my arm. So I catch their fingers or their hand right there. Got it. Now, I step over their head. Difficult, easy. If I lean away, I can step right over. If I can get in a car, you know, you don't have to be crazy flexible. Now when they go to reach for their hand, Swat, just swat their hand uh, so that you bend their, bend their arm at the elbow, then catch your hand and finish right here. Touch, catch, step, swat, secure, and finish. Okay, touch, catch, step, swat. I'm hitting here, I'm hitting here. And then connect and finish. Touch, catch, step, swat. Secure and finish. And again, you don't need to do a switch, any position switching to finish that Americana. Okay, for our last minute, we're already down to our last minute. We're gonna be doing Kimura sit-ups. So for a Kimura sit-up, I'm gonna side bend away from the direction I'm going. So I'm looking where I'm going, I come up over my elbow, connect to the wrist, reach over the shoulder and I'll hip backwards. Okay, and that's the whole movement. So reach over, hip shoots out. Side bend, come up over your arm, reach over, hip out. Side bend, reach over, hip out, and connect. Side bend, up over your elbow. You guys have, oh, last three seconds. Thanks for being here. We'll see you back soon on the mat.
Take care, guys.